Hello everyone, welcome to my first video. Today we're going to be talking about why aging is a disease and why it's a potentially curable disease. To understand why aging is a disease, we need to first understand what aging is. Put very simply, aging is damage that accumulates with you throughout life. It always occurs, starts when you're a fetus, and follows you throughout life. It can kill you anytime, but generally does not because usually your body has evolved to tolerate a lot of damage. The amount of damage that your body is able to withstand differs from person to person. That's why some people age faster than other people and why different animals age differently. This damage occurs on a cellular level so you're mostly unaware of it, especially if you are in your 20s and younger. But over time the damage begins to clog your cells. Your cells begin to degrade and don't work as efficiently as before. This is when you begin to notice some side effects, like wrinkles, gray hair, etc. Are you with me so far? Okay, so here's the part where aging becomes a disease. When people think of diseases, they think of two types of diseases. Infectious diseases, such as Ebola or the Spanish flu, and non-infectious chronic diseases, such as dementia and cancer. And then most people think of aging as something completely separate from these two things. Aging is thought of as this thing that only gives you minor problems like gray hair, makes you more tired easily, lose more muscle, but otherwise doesn't really affect your health all that much. In fact, nowadays there's all these words being thrown around such as healthy aging, successful aging, or aging gracefully. People legitimately think that by avoiding these diseases and growing old that you've somehow aged successfully or healthily and then you would somehow just die naturally free of any diseases. Well, in reality it's not like that at all. In reality, the diseases of old age are actually inseparable from aging itself. They're, in, they're actually in the same category. In fact, aging is the primary cause of old age diseases such as dementia and cancer. The reason people get these diseases is because they have accumulated a large enough amount of damage that their bodies cannot function properly anymore. Some of their cells refuse to die and reproduce uncontrollably, such as the case in cancer, or proteins begin to pile up in their brains, which damage it, such as the case in dementia. Again, these diseases don't really happen just by themselves in a vacuum, they are direct results of accumulating damage you have gained throughout life. In other words, these diseases are directly caused by aging. They're inseparable. To illustrate this point, let's look at the following example. This table shows the leading causes of death in Australia for the years 2011 to 2013. Although this is only for Australia, the figures should generally be the same for any country with a high life expectancy. Feel free to look up the figures for your own country. As you can see from the figures, once someone reaches their 40s, it becomes increasingly rarer to die from external causes, such as assault or suicide, and it becomes more and more common to die of medical issues. However, if you, if you look closely on the list, nowhere does it say death of old age or death through natural causes. That's because it's impossible to die naturally. You can't grow old and somehow avoid all diseases, run out of time, and die naturally. It doesn't work like that. Something always goes wrong and kills you. And similarly, you cannot die of old age. Old age gives you something to die of. This is why terms like healthy aging is a contradiction. Aging is actually a decline in health. It is constant, following you throughout life, accumulating damage slowly in your body until something goes wrong and kills you. This is why aging is a disease. Most people and researchers do not like to admit this because it implies that cures for these old age diseases such as dementia are impossible. Because it's assumed that to cure these diseases one has to cure aging itself which is either impossible or very far off. But that's extremely over pessimistic because aging and, age old, and old age diseases don't need to be cured if they can be indefinitely postponed by repairing the damage that causes them instead. You don't need to completely cure aging. You just need to go in there every once in a while and repair some of the damage. Just like how a car from the 50s can still run today if you can provide it with regular maintenance. 
Luckily, a lot of researchers are beginning to realize this and are slowly becoming aware that aging is in fact the cause of these diseases. In fact, in the past 20 years or so, there has been more and more researchers and organizations that are directly targeting aging and trying to cure it, such as Google Calico and the Sense Research Foundation. Also, the research concerning aging has come a long way over the past 20 years. It has been shown that aging is not an immutable rule of life. There has actually been a lot of evidence to suggest that aging is actually quite malleable. For example, one of the earliest scientific studies to have shown this was one in 1935, which has discovered that reducing the amount of calories fed to rodents nearly doubled their lifespan. The life extension varied from each species, but on average there was a 30 to 40 percent increase in lifespan in both mice and rats. If you want to read more about this study, check the sources in the description. I will also be discussing more of these studies and in further depth in later videos. So if aging is a disease and the research suggests that it's curable, or at least malleable, why hasn't it been cured already? Well that's because it's still a very controversial idea. Most people are unwilling to accept it because they've been accustomed to believe that aging is an immutable part of life and is actually a good thing. As for scientists, accepting the idea and discussing it with others can put their reputation at risk, although this is slowly starting to change in face of more scientific evidence. Besides this, people today are more focused on issues like terrorism, identity politics, global warming, and etc. etc. While these are legitimate issues that should be given attention, they pale in comparison to aging. And yet aging does not get anywhere near the attention that these issues get, and very, very little funding. For example, in 2014 about 30,000 people died from terrorism, whereas it's estimated that 100,000 people die every day due to age-related diseases. This is why I started this channel, to bring more attention to this issue because it's extremely neglected. Thank you for watching everyone, feel free to subscribe for more videos about aging and tell all your friends that aging is a disease. If you feel like you want to contribute to ending this epidemic, please donate to some of the organizations in the description. I'm not affiliated in any way with these organizations, in case you're wondering. I really just want to see an end to this disease. Thanks and goodbye.